YouTube, we'd like you to meet Louis, Harry, Ben, Will, and Matt. We persuaded them to join us on a rather mad trip across India. You see, we spontaneously signed up for an event called the Rickshaw Run, which means we're driving these bad boys across the country. Our aim is to travel 3,500 kilometers across the width of the country in under three weeks, while raising as much money as possible for the Teenage Cancer Trust. This is the Rickshaw Run. We've now been pulled over on the side of the road for like half an hour. Um, we can't find out what's wrong with Mary and we can't tow her either because if we go over a pothole with a rope, it'll snap. So we're not really sure what the solution is here. We're just trying to work it out. Well, we got it running again for like five minutes, but we've had another breakdown. We've managed to get that back up and running again. We're about 27 kilometers away from where we're trying to get to tonight and we're all very wet and hungry. How was that, Jack? Well, that was an adventure. <laughs> I think that was genuinely one of the scariest things I've done on this run. Like, I had to emergency stop twice because the distance between me and that car is nothing. And the minute they braked, which was quite frequent, I just like, whoa! jam on the brakes and uh, almost went to the back of them once. I'm soaking wet and we've arrived at Hotel Apollo. I'd be so happy, yeah. Uh, anything's better than the goddamn top dogs. Morning dudes, how's it going? It is 10 minutes to 10 o'clock. Louie and I have just dragged our asses out of bed. Okay, we're currently in Siliguri, here. The minister's now spoken to the truck driver, and if we leave in the next two, maximum three hours, we can get to Mohanir here. So we'll skip to it by tomorrow afternoon. So at this point, we were already very behind schedule. We'd heard about people putting their rickshaws on the back of a truck in order to make up for lost time. So after a few phone calls, we planned a route and organized to meet a local truck driver later that evening. We would drive for 20 solid hours through the night with all three rickshaws on the back of the truck. We are finally leaving the hotel. Victoria is purring. She's working beautifully. And we're gonna be driving them to the truck who's down the road, loading that guy up. And then some of us are going in the truck, some of us are going in the support vehicle and we're going to be driving for 17 hours. Okay, this is our truckman. This is awesome though. Yeah. Just like make your own ramp out of like rubble. Yeah, get it done. So in the end we decided why not all get together and oh, ride in the back of the truck. Actually, Hang out there. Why not? You got him? Yeah, come on man. <laughs> Whose idea was this? This is genuinely one of the most mental things I think I've ever done. <laughs> we're How did die. it get to this point? Die. The funny thing is that we could actually optionally go in another car, but we're choosing to stick together in the back of the truck. truck and it is so bumpy and we are actually on a flat road at the moment. We've got 20 hours of this. Jeez. <laughs> hey Charlie, Jack here. It is at this point I should probably explain who Charlie is. This is Charlie. You see, Charlie was also part of the rickshaw run, only she didn't come to India. She stayed at home and was in charge of the organization of the trip, and also, most importantly, our safety. Charlie takes safety very seriously. I just wanted to say we're being really safe on the rickshaw run. We found a way to travel much safer than the tuk tuks. How are you alright? Yeah, I'm alright, just about. Um, we're being really safe, Charlie, just like you said. Um, there's not a road like 20 feet below us or anything. <laughs> Broke down. We thought this would be way better. Thanks for organising the trip, Charlie. You really got me. You really got me. Yes, boys. Let's 
such yeah! Stop for a little food break at a, uh, a normal kind of truck stop, Indian truck stop. So Finn, are we staying in the truck for the whole 20 hours? No, I can't do that. I'm going to go up front in the cabin. It's You're so going up front. Well. Will, up front or in the back? Or in the support vehicle? In the support vehicle, 120%. <laughs> Jack, what's your consensus? I'll go truck if you're going truck. Yeah? Yeah, no, I'll go truck it. you it's a bit of Should you truck it? It was at this point you see that the men were separated from the mice. Harry, Finn and Will would go in the support car whilst myself, Louis, Ben and Max would brave the back of the truck. Surely things couldn't get much worse. So I'm currently sat in our tuk tuk, in the back of the truck, bumping along a dusty road. This is one of the most mental things we've ever done. Oh my god. I don't think we're gonna last 20 hours doing this. But we did an hour. This is not a good idea. Whatever you want! Woo! Whatever you like! Woo! Whatever you want! Sitting in a queue at the moment. How you doing, man? It's pretty intense. Very hot, very dirty. I'll get that. We've been up on the roof, so we're covered in grub, like covered in dust. Uh, so we just got a call from Finn because uh, we basically had 20 hours on the road, so we've had no hotel for today. We put some money aside and we're getting a five star hotel with a swimming pool. That was one of the best news in the world, so we're very happy about this right now. Finally, finally, we have arrived. Yeah, look how filthy we are. We're a filthy bunch of mongrels. Oh, hey, you look pretty clean. No, you're joking, you don't. <laughs> oh, luxury. <laughs> look at these guys. Oh, hello, boys. Hello. How do you do? Namaste. 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 Have a nice day to you, too. What are they doing? Gigi, happy we made it. So, we're here. Early the next morning, we rose at the crack of dawn in order to watch the sun rise over the Ganges River. Okay, tuk-tuks are full with juice. We've just filled them all up. 
Everybody's raring to get on the road now. We've been chilling around for too long. We just want to get back on those crazy Indian roads, man. All right, boys, are we ready? Ready to roll. Yeah. Harry, are you ready? Yeah, I'm trying to push them in front. Harry, yeah. no breaking down today, right? Okay. Max, are you ready? I am very ready, just fixing up these speakers and then we're on our way. We're all ready, we're on our way. Here we go. It's 5.30 in the morning. This is the second time in the last few days we've got up just to see the sunrise and we're going to see the Taj Mahal. That monkey did not like me. Harry mate, first impressions of the Taj Mahal. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, no, it's amazing. That evening we planned to have dinner in order to celebrate raising $100,000 for the Teenage Cancer Trust. But first, we wanted to find something to wear. <laughs> what would you recommend, like, for me? Could you show me? Ah, oh, this is what we're looking for, boys. This is exciting. Oh, wow. Oh, fair. Oh, fair. Oh, we could be a matching duo, man. Do you have matching trousers? Oh, fantastic! This is my favourite thing I've ever done. This is fantastic. Why aren't British clothes like this? Think about it. <laughs> Are we ready? Hold it still. Yes! Can I get the wrong roll? Oh, that's kind of close. Here we go, refresh the page. The internet's being slow. <laughs> <laughs> so far we have raised $100,928. I, I was suffering from a little bit of food poisoning. I want to get back on the road now. Two more days to go to the finish line.